week on WOW! Oh my! Look at that! Oh no! What was that? Lori hits the Vader bomb in the corner. Wow! Meanwhile, Sweet Heat and Randy Rara all to themselves. There it is, the Heat Wave! The Heat Wave! And Randy has been pinned. Sweet Heat retains the tag team titles! despite there being no formal introduction by Lauren. Sophia, I didn't know. <laughs> Excuse me, Lauren. I'm not I don't mean that. to be rude, but I'm sure that everyone agrees that my clients need a VIP introduction done by me, Sophia Lopez, the world's greatest attorney. Oh, now we get it. Sophia wanted to do the official introductions. She's that very good at it. Said, Buenas noches, ladies and gentlemen, niños y niñas. This match is all about the Latina power. So I have two amazing Latina wrestlers, the best tag team ever known as Las Bandidas. Desde Los Angeles, California, Vivian Rivera and Sylvia Sanchez from Chana, New Mexico. Las Bandidas. Well, fans, it's David McLean here with AJ Mendez. And Steven Dickey, and hopefully we don't have to pay Sofia Lopez any extra money for tonight's appearance to become an announcer. I'd hate to reach into the pocketbook. I don't know, I think you need to give her a bonus. She's pulling double duty. I know, but I didn't approve it. So you gotta stick to the budget. I mean, it's kind of like she's, she's offering this gift to you. All right, everyone, the following contest is scheduled for one fall. Las Bandidas opponents from Austin and Dallas, Texas, Jennifer Gordon and Steffi Slay! Well, here they are, the new generation of stars of WOW. And I gotta tell you, it was only five weeks ago that Heavy Metal Sisters attacked Steffi Slays in the locker room. And this is reminiscent of how they attack Jesse Jones. You know, one has to wonder, were the Heavy Metal Sisters targeting Americana? Because as we saw two months ago, it was Steffi Slays and Jennifer Flores that came to the rescue, came to the aid of Americana, which she needed at the most, David. Well, we saw that two weeks ago. Steffi Slays got out there. She tried to push through an injury in the tag team match with Rena Del Rey and Wrecking Ball. Unfortunately, as all you fans saw, it was too much for Steffi to overcome. Rena really slammed Steffi, put her outside on those barricades. That's where that hip injury happened. That's why you might see that black patch, if you will, on one of her hips. We're getting underway here. Steffi Slay's going for the early pin. 
attempt on Vivian the backslide. Kick out by Vivian Rivera. Arm drag, taking Vivian Rivera down. She's back up. Steffi with another arm drag, really trying to keep the momentum here. You know, Steffi may not be the strongest competitor, but when it comes to the intensive fortitude and the spirit, Steffi refuses to give up. And she wasn't gonna let Jennifer Flores, her partner, be out here alone tonight. So you gotta give it up for Steffi Slade. She shows up every time. Sylvia Sanchez bringing up the pinball tip there with Jennifer Flores. You know, it's good that Steffi Slays came to the aid of Jennifer Flores when she needed it the most, as we were talking about earlier, like with Americana. So let's give credit where credit is due. Las Banditas, they're one of the toughest tag teams in WOW. Sofia Lopez has established this new look, this new attitude, this new name for them. And that's what really has jump-started this tremendous winning streak that they found themselves on right now. AJ, I'm gonna say your friend, at least great acquaintance, Jennifer Flores is in trouble. Good for her. Not only are they on a winning streak, they're on a bit of a mean streak. Uh, you know, you gotta love it. You gotta love the grit and the fight. But after what Steffi and Jennifer have been through in the last couple weeks, it's tough to watch. Sylvia Sanchez, Vivian Rivera definitely have the advantage coming in here with a weakened Steffi Slays. And then you factor in Sofia Lopez, like what we're seeing right now. Come on. Jennifer Flores is stuck in the wrong corner. Steffi Slay's trying to come in. Ben Scheinberg keeping her out. Wants the legal competitor in, and Sylvia gives the backbreaker to Flores. Now just stretching, stretching Jennifer Flores across her leg. Jennifer Flores, she's a high flyer, she's a dynamo. We've talked about it time and time again, and this is exactly what Sylvia Sanchez and Vivian Rivera need to do to neutralize that. Here comes Vivian. Vivian in, double elbow smash. And before that double elbow smash, we saw a little taunt there to Steffi Slade. You gotta believe Steffi is already kind of neutralized. She's got that tape on, she's got that, that athletic tape that is meant to keep that muscle strain sort of intact, so you're not feeling it when you need to move. But it, it's not a cure-all. No, and, and Steffi, needless to say, not at 100% right now. And then we see Sylvia Sanchez, Vivian Rivera again, taking advantage of this entire situation. Sofia Lopez getting involved too. Sofia, as noted, has established a new look, a new attitude, and a new name for Vivian Rivera and Sylvia Sanchez. And they've been delivering tonight and many nights thereafter. Let's see what can happen tonight. Miss Flores is in trouble again, AJ. Wow, that was an innovative uh, counter by Vivian. Yeah, the half Nelson along with a little bit of a hair pull. And clothesline. Beautiful short arm clothesline by Vivian into the cover. One, two, kick out. Referee Ben Scheinberg signaling over to our timekeeper. It was only a count of two. And Vivian and Jennifer are very similar styles. They're very fast paced, but Vivian has the power advantage. I'm impressed with their tag team ability. They've been coming in here doing it gracefully and strongly week after week. Sofia Lopez has something here. Sylvia Sanchez, we've seen it before, that mean streak that she's got. One of the most aggressive WOW superheroes that we've seen, and as we saw weeks ago in that match with Keita Rush, just locking her up in various submission maneuvers, torturing her opponent. But Jennifer Flores comes back, dropping Sylvia across the knee. Here comes Steffi Slay and Vivian Rivera. You can see it right then. Steffi hesitated getting in. The left leg was unable to get in all the way. But Steffi just did that sunset flip. Boy, she's a fighter. Beautiful flying clothesline taking Vivian off of her feet. Another clothesline taking her down. Oh, she is feeling that hip. You can see you her. You can see it right there. You're right, AJ. Yeah, her footwork very, very uh, un unbalanced, uneasy at the moment. But adrenaline is moving her right now into the bulldog. Tremendous bulldog takes Vivian down. Sylvia Sanchez breaking up the pinball attempt. And the fans didn't like that one bit. Jennifer Flores, Steffi with a double clothesline, taking down Vivian Rivera. Steffi's hurt. Look at her grab that left hip. She couldn't even focus, and Sanchez took advantage and came in and broke up a possible pin. Steffi's in pain over there right now. Tag is made to Sylvia Sanchez, coming in there. Hot, beautiful neck breaker, taking down Jennifer Flores. Sylvia took advantage of it. And there you go. That's all she wrote.
Sofia Lopez has... Give a shout out to Jennifer Weingroff who handles the PR and her assistant Katie, both of them. They just did a terrific job. And I know you get along with them fabulously. I do, I love Jennifer. She is a superstar. Candy Crush going against the ropes. G.I. Jane went for a hip toss. Candy Crush with a blow to the midsection. Hip toss of her own, taking down G.I. Jane. Candy Crush with the arm drag. Ducks clothesline. Waist lock. Oh. Short arm clothesline taking down G.I. Jane. Kick out. It's a maneuver I've seen G.I. Jane use before. Little we'll taste of her own medicine there. Exactly. Didn't taste too good, I don't think. Ooh, right down on the chin. I hope she didn't bite that tongue. Jawbreaker into the clothesline. Now G.I. Jane taking a moment to jaw jack the fans. She wants the accolades, not only in the press, but in the fans. Of course, let's not forget, Candy Crush had a world championship match weeks to go here on WOW. G.I. Jane, I'm sure, wants that too. No doubt. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think I kind of resent the word jealousy. I think it's so 2003. I think <laughs> women are more, uh, more layered. We have more depth than that. There's more nuance to why she's angry. She has a point. She deserves a little bit of, of affirmation. She deserves us to, to respect what she has done and what she brings to WOW. I get it. I get what she's got to show I may agree with you on that with respects to that, and you're, and you're saying 2003, but you don't believe in today? 
we can't have some jealousy over someone getting something that they want? I think we are complex creatures, women, and to, to, to distill it down to something so base is, is not really feeling the full weight of her argument. So you might say, I don't have the depth to understand it. I mean, maybe she's just out of your league. G.I. <laughs> Jane with the cover, kick out by Candy Crush. Thank you for saving me there, <laughs> by the bell, but by the two count there. G.I. Jane, she is driven, she is motivated, all jokes aside. She is one of the most uh, 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 hungry individuals here on the WOW roster. She's got that Cobra Clutch locked in. She's trying to drive the air out of Candy Crush. This man's trying to will Candy Crush back into it. Elbows to the midsection. Crush backs her into the corner. Now going to the midsection once again. Candy Crush driving the wind out of her opponent. Oh, she reverses that whip. Started her one way and turned her right around the other, catching her off guard. Candy Crush, you see her winding up there. Beautiful flying clothesline. Back elbow. Back elbow taking wow. down G.I. Jane. I felt that one. A very European uppercut, in fact. <laughs> Kick out. What makes it very European? Uh, it's from Switzerland. Oh, I was gonna say, is it like, is it writing like the best spot? Uh, yes, yes, very, yeah, similar to that. Rush has her up in the fireman's carry. G.I. Jane fights out of it. Throws her into the rope. Big boot missed. Rush. Rush so it's it. coming. Goes for a crossbody, yeah. the strength of G.I. Jane on full display. Oh, a slam of strength. Kick out by Candy Crush. Hold it, hold it. I thought that was three. Uh, I was at a loss for word. G.I. Jane thought it was three. She's getting mad at the referee. G.I. Jane is hungry. She wants this. She wants to prove she deserves all of the things Candy Crush. She feels she's been given, but Crush has earned it. Well, don't use that oh, no. word, jealousy. I don't want AJ to get on top of you either. <laughs> Just me tonight. Look at G.I. Jane, she's got her, she's got her by the throat. She's John got her Jack by the throat. Uh -oh. What's she thinking here? Uh-oh. Hoist her up for a choke slam and the oh. rail across her. The oh, crush man. hit the shot. And that's all she wrote for that one. My goodness. Not gonna 
stand for it, especially what they did to Steffi Slays, her best friend here in black. sisters are concerned. This is going to be a test to see if vengeance can be had. Referee Eddie Firth, the official in this one, is Fury and Keita Rush lock up in the center of the ring. I mean, is there any correlation to the fact that once Fury has taken on this, this singles journey that they have just gotten meaner and more ruthless? Is there is there anger amongst this team, or are they just really trying to cement Fury's legacy? Well, months ago, we were wondering if they would stay a team, if you recall. They channel that anger away from each other and out into the world. They certainly have. I would have given you 50-50 odds if they would have stayed with each other. Beautiful head scissor takedown. Keita Rush getting the advantage going. Wonderful drop kick. Keita Rush is flying now. Another one. Oh, my goodness. Fury taken right off of her feet. Keita Rush into the corner. Hip smash, elbow smash, all sorts of smashing. <laughs> Kita over the top rope. Fury goes for a strike. Kita counters. And Razor, Razor, trying to, trying to miss it. Kita Rush there. Kita with a kick to miss. Mariah, oh. Mariah took the foot right out from Kita Rush. Fury's now got the advantage due to the help of Mez Mariah. Kick out by Kita Rush back into the cover is Fury. And Razor, really. Razor threw her off first, and then Mez Mariah just followed. He didn't have a chance with the one-two combination on the outside. Fury just working on that chin lock of Kita Rush. Kita going to the ropes, but that's not going to help him. No, not against Fury. We've seen what she can do with those ropes. out of breath. Fury taking full advantage here. That knee driven right into the back and the shoulder blade of Keita Rush. Snap right off that second rope like a rag ball. Into the cover. Kick out. I know Fury loves to do that pin maneuver where she thinks she's playing a guitar. But it's on their leg, right. Yeah, but Air it's, it's not that effective unless the opponent is really out of it. It's demoralizing, at least. Meanwhile, on the outside, Razor and Mesmer Rush, one of the most resilient parts in WOW Women of Wrestling. She refuses to give up. She refuses to say die. Honestly, in addition to that MMA training, I think that's another thing that carried her to victory against BK Rhythm. Now Fury, that front face lock, snap suplex. Working on the small of the back of Keita. One, kick out. Let's not forget either, when Keita Rush was a victim of bullying as a child, one of the things that she went through was her back was severely injured. So Fury working on the back, targeting the back, wise maneuver here. It may be dirty pool, but hey, if it gets the win, the Heavy Metal Sisters will be 100% happy. I didn't know that about Keita. I knew that what she had gone through, but I didn't realize that she had a, a back injury. You would, you would never be able to tell with how skilled and fast she is in the ring. She bounces back like no other. She's almost superhuman. She jumps up on the second row. Fury's got her. Fury's got her. What's she thinking here? Airy crash. Ooh, that could have taken out that left shoulder. Of Keita. One, two, kick out. Keita Rush. She's got to dig down deep. Fury not only has the size advantage, but as we pointed out, just a mean streak and extremely aggressive as a blade. Fury goes for the clothesline. Keita ducks it. Keita ducks another one into the ropes. Beautiful sling blade. Take it down, Fury. Another amazing drop kick. And another one. Keita Rush hits those drop kicks like no other. She dances with who brought her. Fury in trouble. Oh, no. Went for that attack into the corner. Ducks Fury. What's she going for here? No, Razor's, Razor's there. Razor was coming up. Keita hit the crossbody. Keita hit the crossbody. She had a three count, but the referee's distracted with Razor. And look at this. Fury scoops her up.
It's our main event for tonight's episode. Tonight, we will decide the number one contenders to the World Tag Team Championship for Sweet Heat. Will it be Reyna Del Rey and Wrecking Ball, this unique, interesting pairing, or will it be the Tonga Twins? This is it. Number one contenders match, isn't it? Only one team can move on to fight Sweet Heat. I think Reyna Del Rey and Wrecking Ball feel like they've got the best shot, but they've got to go through the most dominant tag team in WoW, the Tonga Twins. That is no easy feat, to say the least. Both teams have been making their way up the ladder, and it's only fitting that the two teams with the power and the force are here meeting tonight in tonight's oh. main event. Oh, no. My dance card is filled, ladies. Mine isn't. Mine is wide open. I'm just right. <laughs> you guys can dance all you want. And their opponents from the islands of Tonga, Chaos and Kona, the Tonga Twins! The Tonga Twins, the protectors of Tiki Chamara and the favorites of so many fans that are here tonight, especially the youngsters that just adore them. How can you not love the Tonga Twins? They have worked tirelessly to prove that they are the best tag team in WoW, and yet they have nothing to show for it. They have never won the tag team titles. They've never had the silver belts across their waist, and they feel like they deserve them. And I think they're right, not to be biased by any means, but my goodness, how many times can they go up to the tag team titles and be interfered upon by the Lana Star, by the Fabulous One, by the Fabulous Four, by Vicky Lynn McCoy, the Enforcer. And you can only go through that so many times before you just get so frustrated and so over it. True. Genuinely surprising they haven't been champions yet. Their championship material, but so is Wrecking Ball and Raina Del Rey. I was just gonna say that, AJ. This one's got to be one for the record, because this one is power and power. And this is our main event, the Tonga Twins against Wrecking Ball and Raina Del Rey. And the bell has rung. Nobody's decided a legal competitor yet. He's saying two of them got to go. We're jaw jacket here. Ooh, a oh, a chop right to oh. the throat. Wrecking Ball and Reina Del Rey didn't take him down. Oh, but the headbutt does. The headbutt does some damage on Wrecking Ball and Reina Del Rey as they back up against the ropes. Tonga's going swinging. Reina and Wrecking Ball twist away. Tonga's now on the ropes, hitting the ropes of Reina. And Wrecking Ball boots to the stomach from the Tongas. Tonga twins have them in the corners. They've dropped them down. What are they thinking here? Stereo hip attack. And vice versa. All four competitors still in the ring. Momentum reverse. Tonga Twins stop in the center of the ring. Reina and Wrecking Ball. That's the difference maker right there. The Tonga Twins are twins. They're sisters. They know each other's moves inside and out. Meanwhile, Reina and Wrecking Ball. They've developed a great chemistry, but you can't talk twin chemistry. Wrecking Ball tagging in Reina Del Rey. She's in there against Chaos. Smart tag. The Wrecking Ball's not out. She trips Chaos and the boot right to the side of the head. You were saying, AJ. I've heard that twins can read each other's minds, right? That science? I mean, you, the way the Tonga twins wrestle, you can think they do read each other's minds. Is that for true? Leave it signs, you know. I think we have a dip. Twin magic, they call it. Well, I like that class too. Oh, forearms. Forearms to chaos. Chaos is dropped. Oh, my, the dueling clotheslines. Kick out by chaos. Wrecking ball. Trying to take it to chaos. Chaos with the shoulder block. Take it down. Wrecking ball. to this crowd. They have come alive for the Tonga Twins. Oh, they're on the outside. Oh, this is dangerous. I feel like I shouldn't have so many hot, so much hot liquid near me in open containers. Tonga Twins brawling with Wrecking Ball and Reina Del Rey on the outside. Reina Del Rey and Wrecking Ball. Chaos is with Wrecking Ball. Kona in the green. Kona's in trouble, too. Oh, this is only going to end terribly. Rena Del Rey! Oh, oh, Rena Del Rey coming off of that top of the ring and pouring all three competitors at once. That rolling senton.
Braun just took out all three competitors, even her own tag team partner, Wrecking Ball. The Tonga twins pulling each other to the side, recovering. And now Rita Del Rey trying to go in there. Rita Del Rey trying to bomb them, but they moved out of the way, and she hit that hard steel barricade. She felt all of that. Well, now Wrecking Ball is alone with the Tonga twins, and that's not where you want to be, and she realizes it. Look at the look on her face. She's trying to take it to both of the twins here, but she is fighting a two-on-one match. Rita Del Rey out, she's a bit injured, hitting that barricade. She's on the outside, wrecking ball on the inside all alone. They send it up to Tonga. 